Well, good morning everybody. I trust you're all well. I hope you're staying safe. What I want to do in this video is get this protein skimmer up and running. I want to give it a whirl, so that's going to be my main object of this video. See if we can get that up and running. I should like to get it running. As you can see, I've still got a few bubbles kicking about on the pond. I want to get rid of them, really. Big trials now, and a lot of tinkering, I would imagine, with this one. But we'll give it a go, we'll get it in and sorted and that's all we can do really. We'll just see how it goes. Right, so the job we're doing at the moment is I'm just disconnecting everything so that I can get this upflow filter out. I've started taking the pipe work off, which I can do because don't forget I fitted a tap mat there so I can actually isolate it from the moving bed. So I'm whipping all the pipe work out. I've got the waste off, I've just got to disconnect that cable there. And then I'm going to get this upflow filter out and get the new base in. And once I've got the new base in, I can actually get the two filters in place and then start working on getting them plumbed. But that's the job so far. Because I want to take this out, this section here with the non-return valve in it, I'm going to take that out. So I've got to shut the pond down drain the moving bed down and get this new pipe in there this is the one all ready to go in so i can put that in keep the tap turned off and strike the filter up again so everything is running so i won't have it shut down too long i don't want to lose a lot of bacteria in that moving bed not after my last disaster <laughs> i want to do everything so i can just whip that out put the other one in and get the filters up and running again as quick as possible I'm not too worried about the bacteria that's in there, in the upflow filter, that'll come back in time, especially running from the actual moving bed, the bacteria will flow through into there anyway, but that's the job so far, I'm just disconnecting everything and I want to get this old base and the upflow filter out. Well there we go, the upflow filter is out, and as you can see I've spilt a little bit of water but I've kept it down as much as possible. But that's where we've got to work on now. I've got to go down the big shed and take the other one to pieces and get the base brought up here first, get that in, and then start fitting these filters again. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to disconnect that pump at the back there, the actual pump that fed it before is down there. I'm going to disconnect that. Then I should go down and take the protein skimmer apart and then bring that up here and we can start thinking about piping it in. I don't think that's going to be as quick as I say it. <laughs> I think it'll take a bit longer than that. But that's everything disconnected at the moment. Right guys, the two filters are in, but would you believe that that one meter tube is shorter than this one meter tube? Now I'm not taking the blame for that one. It's about two inches lower. To get the pipes to marry up at the top obviously I can't get this one in because it's too tall I've got to take a couple of inches off this tube here if you order a meter tube surely you should get a meter tube well, there you go so now I'll see if I can make them fit without cracking the blooming tube that's going to be the worst bit but we'll have a go anyway I said this job's never as easy as you think it's going to be didn't I? <laughs> okay so I've taken it down and it is now at the same level as the second one I bought. <laughs> they're in, they're not fitted yet. I've got the connection across the top done. And if we come down here, I've got all the outflow on the protein skimmer done. I've just got to make where that piece of wood's holding it up, I've just got to make a bracket to support that end. And then I've got to get the pump in this end. But I'm doing that bit first. I'll just get the bracket made and then move on and get the pump all in and fitted. Right guys, I've got a little apology to make. I came out this morning and I got my moving bed drained down and I got the back of the river drained down and then I thought, oh crikey, I'm not doing any video. But I had to rush because if my media had dried out, all the bacteria would have died in it without any problem. So I had to rush, and not only that, I did change my mind as well. I changed both pipes, so the moving bed is now getting all the water from the RDF. 
so it's all going through there which is much better and then we just take off from the actual bottom of the moving bed as you can see there through a non-return valve and my pump is now if we can see it under there so the up pipe on the pump goes straight into the upflow filter it comes up the upflow filter across the top and then down into the skimmer which does seem to be it's working well it's in our shower in the media and we're getting quite a few bubbles through i have put something under the end of that where the skim it comes out but to be honest as you can tell i'm not that optimistic i've only put a little jug under there but we'll see i'm going to give it a run i think what i've got to do watching it work is this part here i've got to raise this chamber a little bit three or four inches because if we take a look here i don't know whether you guys will see it but there are one or two bubbles coming up in this corner which means a little bit a little tiny bit of air is getting through so i want to change that so i'm going to raise this chamber i've just put another piece of pipe in there and then put all this back in the top it's not a difficult job that but that's it up and running anyway nothing's come out of it up to yet we'll see how it goes we do seem to have a lot of air getting into that chamber i can show you that if i just lift this off we do seem to have a lot of air getting into there so i'm just gonna make that chamber a little bit deeper but that's it all up and running so it's just a matter now of seeing if anything happens afternoons aren't the best time for a protein skimmer night is the best time they tend to work their best at night but i'll just change that now make it uh, a little bit taller and then just leave it alone to do its job well that's got the extension done that's slowed it down a bit there's nothing coming out of it at the moment i've cleaned the jug out so we're going to see how that goes now i've got the pump up at about 55 percent but i'm just going to leave it now and see how it goes see if it even tries to chuck anything out with that extension on it if not i shall reduce it in length and see how we go but i can do no more we'll just have to see what happens now and keep tinkering well guys it's gone 11 o'clock at night now so i thought i'd just come out and have a look and make sure everything was all right now the good news is we are making loads of skim it loads of it the bad news is unfortunately it's not in the jug <laughs> if we look here where we run into the actual backy river <laughs> there's all the skimmy in there oh dear <laughs> the second bay is absolutely perfect but the first bay is uh, bringing up all the skimmy <laughs> so what we've made here doesn't work basically the actual protein skimmer itself is working fantastic it didn't have making some skimming but catching it i'm afraid this t this four inch t is not man enough it's not man enough to do the job the skim is actually carrying on through the pipe work and into the backy river so it's back to the drawing board and think of something else i'm going to sleep on it tonight and see what i can come up with but that's the state of the situation at the moment. The protein skimmer works, we've just got to catch the skimmy. Okay, now as you can see, it's a bit noisy in here, I do apologise for that. I've had to bypass the skimmer so that I'm going straight into the backy river because I don't want to lose the bacteria in there. So I've bypassed that for now. I've taken it all apart and now it's back to the drawing board. I've got to come up with something else. I'm still not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. I've got to think of something. I've got to get my brain in gear today. But that's where we're at at the moment. It's all dismantled. Back to the drawing board. That uh, back in river was absolutely full to the lid with skimming this morning. So the actual skimmer's working properly. It's just a matter of taking the air out before it gets there. Well, good morning, everybody bit grey and miserable today but it's dry at the moment showers expected this is first thing I've just whipped my net off 
as you can see there is a few bubbles floating on the pond this is why I'm pushing on this protein skimmer really but all's good in the pond all the fish are good I have had two or three flowers come on me lily but unfortunately they've sunk two of them and that one is now on its side so it'll disappear <laughs> shortly they do swim through them lilies and do move them about quite a lot but as you can see it's really grown that thing has now it's taken off again so it needs a bit of a trim back to be honest but they do enjoy the cover and the shade of it especially if the sun ever does make an appearance the bottle brush is coming out it's looking well oh, i love that bush it's a lovely bush that is when it flowers really strange flowers on that it's took a bit of growing it didn't really want to grow there i don't think but it's took off now it's now coming really well just adds a nice bit of color to the garden when it's flowering there's still a lot more flowers to come out yet it's coming on well right we'll have a walk up and take a look in the filter house we'll have a look and see what i've done with this protein skimmer now i have done a lot of messing about I didn't video it for the simple reason a lot of it was boring. It was just a matter of what could we do. Now I tried several different things and what I came up with was this. So it now comes down through the actual protein skimmer and into this reservoir or whatever you want to call it. It's just a small blue tub and I tried to be a little bit more optimistic and put a bigger bucket there. Now it's been running all night and we have actually got skimmit in there a good colour as well so it is working whether it's working as well as the old one did I'm not sure I don't think so because of that bucket would have been half full by now and another thing is I don't really like that stuck in the middle of my filth house but it's all I've got at the time to do what I wanted so I did give it a go but I have to say it does work will I keep it? I really don't know, I don't like it stuck there, I've got to admit whether I could do something and put that outside so that I've just got these two in here if there's some hissing, I, I do apologise, I'm just topping the pond up a little bit Pond temp, it's dropping I have had 19.5 most of the time, but we're down to 18.8 now so it, it has dropped slightly, but that's due to the weather we had one decent day and the rest has been absolutely rubbish to be honest but it is working the skimmer's working and we are getting skimmit from it and it's a nice brown colour as well but like I say will I keep it I won't keep it unless I can do something different with it because these tubes are smaller than my original protein skimmer that worked really well whether they'd work as well or not I don't know so I'm quite intrigued to have a go at the old design because it did produce the goods then again I've got to run a full time air pump on it I'm just leaving it now for a few days till I make my actual mind up I've still got some wiring up there to do I did swap the pump on this upflow filter which obviously feeds the protein skimmer so I've got a variable pump on it at the minute what I've actually done is this socket here I have wired the air pump from that switch to this so that I can actually unplug that and put a different one on it or switch it off or do what I want and I'm going to do the same with the actual pump as well so the switch actually operates these sockets then I can swap it around or do what I like what I did want to show you was these here in desperation I bought some of this PVC cement Aquaflow and I have to say I really don't rate it at all I, I was stuck and I couldn't get any quick so I bought that but I've gone back to me well done I think it's far superior to that stuff that's more like a gel and when you get halfway down the tin it's round the outside but you can't get your uh, cotton wool into it once you get sort of beyond half a tin so it's not that good either I don't think well done, wet or dry, can't beat it. Right, this has now been running, I've left that on 24 hours. And as you can see, we've got some skimmit in there. I'll get the jug and we'll have a look at the colour of it. I've altered things about a little bit and I've probably not done it any favours, to be quite honest. But I'll get the jug and we'll see what skimmit's there and the colour of it. But that's what it took out last night. Now that is pretty good skimmit, I have to say. 
there's a lot of dirt in that. I wonder if I turn it around to the light. There's a lot of dirt in that. That is pretty good skimmit. So it is doing the job without a doubt. The only problem I've got is can I put up with that being stuck in my filter house? <laughs> I've just heated the top up and I've done this upwards. It was bowing down. I've just heated all this up and bowed it upwards. I don't know whether the camera will show that, but it does actually bow upwards now instead of down. So that will give it more room and to help the foam move to the centre of the tub, hopefully. Well, good morning, guys. Now, I've not touched this for three days now. I've just left it running. And that's the bucket of skimmit we've got. It hasn't done bad, I have to say. We'll take it out and have a look. Here's the camera shooting about. It's uh, not easy to do this. Just let that bit fall off. I don't want it on the floor. You watch. The minute I move that bucket, I bet that falls off. Ah, got it. Right. Oh, let's have a look at this stuff. What are we getting? That's not bad. Let's take it outside. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad, skim it. I hope you guys can see that alright. I'm not quite sure where the sun's coming from at the minute. But yeah, that looks manky old stuff it's taken out of the water. So this one is working. This skimmer is working. I'm just waiting for a few more bits to build the other design. And then I shall I'll swap it over and give the other one a go. I mean, with this bit, what I was trying to do was just replicate what happened in the actual Backy River. I was trying to do the same here. And it has worked to a certain extent. The inner airflow, where the actual water comes into this tub, could do with a bit better design on it, because uh, where the bubbles are coming up, it's pushing the main bubbles away from the centre of the tub. So that could do with design in a little bit different. I think we'd get a lot more out of it then. But I have decided I don't like this thing stuck in my filter house. <laughs> so I'm going to have a bash at the other protein skimmer. But yeah, that's got that clean out. I ought to have washed that out really, didn't I? But it was a job with one hand. I'll wash it out in a minute and put it back. But yeah, I mean, it is actually working. It's just a matter of how we remove the bubbles from the actual water. That bit there is not a good system really. It works, but like I say, it's still a chunk stuck in your blooming filled house. But I'm just waiting for bits now. As soon as the bits get here, I'll start on the other one. I've got the tube. I shall have to fit one of the brass taps to regulate the flow. Because on the other protein skimmer, as you'll remember, the water level was up here somewhere. It has to be up there. So we do need a valve to slow the outflow to lift the water level up there. But I've proved one thing. The system does actually work. Well, there's not a lot I can do now until I get the rest of my uh, parts come for this new skimmer. That one has surprised me in the way it's working. It's working reasonably well. But I want to have a go at, in one of these uh, acrylic tubes and see what the other one works like and see how it goes, really. I'm a bit inquisitive about that. But as soon as the bits get here, we'll get started on that. But don't forget guys, if anybody's thinking of heating their pond this coming winter, give me a shout. I'm still a registered seller for heat pumps for pools. So if you're thinking of getting one, let me know and I'll do all I can for you. It's come to that time of day now, and that time of the video actually, the net's on the pond and my tea's cooking. So I'm going to call that it guys. That's it for this video. I'd just like to say thanks for watching. You all take care, and as always, happy ponding.